that 250? About 250. That first one's 200. 200. It's gonna be almost impossible. Impossible is only for the faint. The weak. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> first, I'm done. first shot of the day. That's awesome. Get out. That was five hundred. Uh, right on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just put the. <laughs> what's up guys Opie and the Smokies here and I have my buddy Jay with Liberty Bell Firearms in the house tonight uh, about to go back home to Indiana tomorrow but we decided we would make a little video for you guys and give you a little kind of roundup of how our weekend went so um, I always try to give Jay a little bit of time to kind of just tell a little bit about himself and his business and, and then we get right into it after that. Uh, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jay. I own Liberty Bell Firearms in Bluffton, Indiana. Uh, I've been in business for about four and a half years now, and we've been building rifles for uh, about a year and a half. We've been putting them out, so we're going to have more to come here this year um, before the end of the year, So, but we'll get into some of that here in a little bit. Uh, me and Jay have known each other. We were trying to figure that out today it's for a little over oh. two years now. Yep. Um, 2019 is kind of when me and him started our relationship and it's kind of a uh, full circle moment for us this weekend because we had some of the older Liberty Bell rifles out with us kind of decking out that steel at 500 yards. So that was a pretty cool experience and um, even had some surprises when we got back and started <laughs> unloading stuff today. So we're going to go over all this stuff with you guys. We've got a bunch of rifles. Actually, is this six Liberty Bell rifles in front of us right uh, now? Yeah, so these two... Oh, those two are... These two are... Uh, yeah. I, built, I built them, but they're not... They were customer supplied uh, lowers. So we have uh, my three Liberty Bells out. Jay brought his into town. Um, and then he also has two builds that he is going to talk a little bit about that he's doing for some customers. Um Let's actually go over those first, and then okay. we can spend more time on your actual stuff. Uh, the first one, this one was a customer supplied lower, uh, Silencer Co. billet lower, which he took advantage of the sale that they had in, I think it was in August, where if you buy a suppressor, then you get the lower for free. This is a $250 billet lower, uh, and it's 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 pretty dope. Uh, it's got the AMB... Uh, bolt release. It's got QD spots on both sides, uh, and it's a pretty nice billet lower. Um, paired it with a uh, DRG billet upper with one of the seven inch rails and an eight and a half inch 300 blackout. But the biggest thing is that uh, Dead Air Zeno flash hider for 5 8 by 24, which, if you want to hand me that can. So that, and this was the can deal that you were just talking about, that he, if he bought a can, he got the lower for free? Yep. So that was a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46. Uh, and then we put on the uh, Xeno mount from Dead Air. It works in the Hybrid 46 because it's that kind of standard uh, suppressor threading. So that go that pairs right onto his... Uh, right onto it. and But it is a the Xeno mount is a left-hand thread, which is... Which is pretty sick, pretty sick, uh, and that works out well because the nine mil that we just built out for him um, a couple months ago also features that dead air Zeno mount as well. So, and that nine mil will obviously work in the hybrid forty six since it's kind of a uh, it's it's widely regarded as the best kind of do it all can. Uh, dead air just came out with their primal, which is that it's designed to compete directly with the hybrid forty six. So. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful setup here, guys. Uh, overall, what, so this is a what'd you say? Eight and a half inch, three and a half, half inch barrel. Um, With a seven inch rail, Radian Raptor, SBA three, uh, K two plus grip, and the Larue MBT uh, 
uh, curve trigger. And I think we have a clip of us shooting suppressed and non-suppressed, so let's actually run that right now. This is gonna. This is a uh, custom build silencer co lower with a ballistic advantage eight and a half inch uh, barrel, dead air Zeno mount, and the SBA three Radian Raptor Larue trigger. Uh, the silencer co lowers are pretty sick. I wouldn't pay two hundred fifty bucks for them, but they're pretty nice. So I'm gonna do five rounds uh, unsuppressed and then put the suppressor on it and go five more rounds. All right, ready? Yep. You're just dunking them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready for these? Taking the ears off, I'm gonna see how quiet it is. You got subs in there? Yeah. Nice. Getting a little low. <laughs> About hit it. But yeah, how stupid quiet was this for 300 blackout? Like with yeah. that, so we what kind of ammo were we using? That we were was, using uh, the free, Hush. Freedom Munitions Hush uh, 220 grain subsonic. Uh, so you get to see it both suppressed and unsuppressed. Uh, the next one, again, was a, a customer supplied lower. Um, he, he got this and built out the lower, but he was ready to, to get, his up, get an upper done. So he built the upper, uh, went and shot it, and did the whole I went through the whole entire rifle uh, went over what was done already uh, he got these the guy was deployed in 2018 so he got this uh, custom lower done from high velocity manufacturing which is in Fort Wayne which is uh, about 45 minutes from me uh, and then said I want a 12 and a half inch so we did a 12 and a half inch 556 with a 10 inch rail um, rounded out a2 charging handle and flash hider he wanted to keep it pretty basic so we shot this thing yesterday and it no surprise it ran like a top so no no major issues there i'm not sure what trigger he put in it it almost it is pretty i don't know nice. what it is i don't know what it is though because i again i didn't since i didn't install it it came to me it almost looks done. like an elf especially with the but it maybe it is an elf and the trigger shoe is different than what elf normally does but it might be their se their uh, like middle of the road Elfman trigger, so. I, I've that. always liked their way their anti walk, anti roll I, setup. If that is an elf, I um, do like it. Looks very similar it to it's got the red, uh, red housing too. So, which there's a couple companies that are red, but Elfman is. So that furthers, furthers that. But that's, but that's that. Twelve and a half inch. I mean, it's nothing too too fancy, but I mean. Just some of the stuff we had out this weekend to, to test and run through. So that's something that I do sometimes is when customers have, you know, their builds partway done or anything like that, then they'll bring they'll bring them to me and let me do the uppers and do all the headspace checks and the safety checks and all that kind of stuff. So One thing I've always liked uh, besides Jay's products is Jay's Rails. Um, we're going to show off one of mine. Actually, you got one yours on um, your rifle here too yep but we were talking about these today and getting them redone and now that i'm actually looking at this so this will be okay. the first that jay has heard it i actually prefer the way that they're done already because we were thinking about switching it up and doing m lock all the way around Which but i, I think, do like I those little i think we probably will end up going m lock all the way around just so people can mount lights and lasers at the 45s and stuff like that so does it look bad with those on the it doesn't it's almost like a uh, chiclet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have some new rails coming, uh, totally new designs for the rails um, and all that kind of stuff. So we're, I'm pretty excited. That'll be coming uh, a little bit later this year. So uh, let's grab. Well, before we go and show the, the killers that we had <laughs> yesterday, talk a little bit about our experience yesterday overall. So there's been a lot of banter back and forth between us uh Yesterday was kind of a first for us, a much needed range day of sorts. Um, we don't get out and do a whole lot of long range stuff. So we have a lot of tactical and 100 yard in shooting stuff that we do, especially with these reviews. 
fairly rarely do we reach out and try to touch them. Um, so this was uh, humbling but very it. fun yeah. and addicting experience right off the bat and just kind of give you know you've shot some distance before but just kind of give your you know five minute overview of how yesterday went for yesterday uh it was it was pretty humbling to when we when we came up on that hill and we stood there and then it's like all right way out there (laughs) that's the target we're gonna try to hit today um you you really get a a appreciation for how far 500 yards really is um and it's not nearly as easy as what people think it is um i think i got a taste with my first taste of long range was at the uh iv88 shoot in 19 to where we were shooting 800 yards but that was a nine thousand dollar rifle setup that we were shooting out of that was already on tripod yeah it was already set up and doped out and everything it was basically you just put the dot on the target and pull the trigger and as long as you got a decent enough trigger squeeze yeah you're hitting every time and there was no wind that day so we didn't i mean yesterday we had it was pretty calm in the morning uh wind picked up late morning early afternoon and then it was calming down there kind of towards the end of the day so that really help when you start getting five, 10 mile an hour winds and you're, and we were shooting 55 grain bullets at 500 yards out of 16 inch rifles. Um, Which the, itself <laughs> was pretty impressive. Like, so to me being as ignorant as I am with long range stuff, uh, to me, I, I didn't realize that that was as, not to sound like toot my own horn hill, but I didn't realize that that was as impressive as it was shooting just normal plinking ammo that far at 500 yards. And we were consistent with that um for the most part early on in the day now we started experiencing some different changes as the day went on compared to like temperature of barrels and and windage as it picked up and all that stuff but overall like pretty impressive um especially with these little rifles out there yeah i was i was very that sounded like a hit charles Uh, yeah and it's my own stuff too (laughs) that we've shot a i don't know how many rounds are through that model number one mm-hmm. a, a ton um, and it's still going strong so so yeah we've had uh i officially have three liberty bell setups here um the first one was my original battle rifle this is the 14 and a half pendant weld um got the Tatcon trigger in this one right now. So we've been trying to do the review on that one. We haven't even felt that one yet. Um, need to get out and do a few more mag dumps with that before the video goes out, but it is a, a decent trigger. But that is my original Liberty Bell rifle. Uh, the upper itself is at well over 10,000 rounds, whereas the lower, since it's been put on a Liberty Bell platform, has probably had uh, probably about another three or 4,000 on it. Serial number four. That was one of the very early ones. Serial number four on that one. So, like that. very, very early. Um, then, the one that you guys have probably seen the most of is the orange 16-inch. Uh, this was probably the, the rifle I have put the most thought into ever. Um, from the paint just to everything, I, I wanted to make sure that it was exactly the way I wanted it right off the bat so that I never had to change anything. And, and I think wasn't that was that was probably one of the first ones that I ever Cerakoted too because that was very early on whenever I started doing Cerakote. Yep. Maybe two or three months in. Try to get you a close up here. Hopefully this camera will actually do some HD. But just a super slick paint job here this is that orange opio orange distre- distressed uh believe it or not this barrel is a faxon firearms gunner barrel but it has been seracoded it was the chameleon originally um but the chameleon just didn't look right in this build so i did a sin and <laughs> um, seracoded that barrel um swamp box one by ten now this is the one we were talking about yesterday by it reaching out and touching somebody. So we actually were able, my very first shot on 500 yards with this rifle I hit yesterday. And I was impressed in that feat alone because I worked my way up from 200, was able to just kind of follow just based off judgment. And that was a good feeling for me. Now, that was also beginner's luck very much. So <laughs> like as the day went on, the Red Bull started digging in. I started getting shaky. We had eight, like we were there from- we didn't 
uh, technically nine till five yeah. without eating any food and anything. So you know, it, it was a uh, an exhausting experience, but also very very awesome the entire time. And uh, I mean, I, to me, that's a big testament. These these Swamp Fox optics for what is it retail on that optics five fifty and the mounts one fifty. Mm-hmm. So for seven hundred bucks for a one to one to ten kind of a do it all. You know, not like not perfect at at one specific thing, but kind of a jack of all trades. Throw that on a good sixteen inch, and you have capabilities from CQB all the way out to five hundred yards, and that's. I think that's a great option as far as cost goes, and that also that normally there are other what's their independence mount is like sixty bucks or something like yeah. that. That one's only one fifty because it's got the built in mount for the uh, RMR. Yeah, on so the left or right one side. thing that's cool about the Swamp Fox, which I did originally have one of my justices up here uh, at the forty five, but on both sides of the cantilever mount, you can mount an RMR type of uh, optic, so you can go from your scope straight over. Mm, thought of that. That was pretty damn cool. Yeah. Um, Swamp Fox is just. Constantly impressed me with their stuff, so I'm gonna keep using them as far as like as long as I can. I, I was looking at today while we were just kind of browsing some of their more expensive scopes and yeah, with like the the tomahawk and the the warhawk. I definitely want to try. Hawk. It's a six to twenty four, uh, and I think retail on that's like six thirty or something like that, six fifty. Yeah, for a six to twenty four, that's a really good that's a really good price. Yeah, for a good quality six to twenty four optic. So one by ten. This was. Uh, I would say probably at the brink of what a 500 yard scope yeah. is. Like this was pretty, pretty difficult to hit 500 with this, with being prone or on tripod. Uh, There's just a lot of movement, a ton of mirage. Um, yeah. Every little bit of wind that at that distance, on, like boy, we were pretty shocked know. of how much wind can move a bullet. <laughs> Especially the 55 grain that yeah. they're shooting. I will say their their holds that they advertise for a 5200 yard zero, their holds on the hash marks for the BBC were pretty close. Yeah. Um, they weren't exactly what they had advertised, but they were very they were close enough that I would call it good. Yeah. I, I would I would say that it's it's acceptable. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we had what was it 200. 250, basically, 350, 400, 450, and 500. Um, yeah, none of us hit the 450 because that was a, an 8 by 10 target at 450 yards. I hit it one time, but I can't you remember did. with what. Was it the orange? I think that was... Or was it, it the bolt? The, it might have been the bolt gun. That okay, yeah. I hit, I hit the 450 <laughs> once, but it was it was like the size of like... It was probably about the size of a helmet at 450. Yeah, you know, was, that, was that, was a pretty, that was a very rough target to hit. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it was, man. Like, you get in a sense cocky when you shoot a lot. So, yeah. I felt like I could hit 500 yard shot, but it did feel really, really good to hit that like pretty early on and to like hit it the very first try with my orange rifle. Like that was that feeling was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, it was a high that I I guess I've been kind of chasing for a while in the in the gun world, like, not to say stuff has been getting boring, but it was definitely a different feeling um, to reach out and do that. And I think overall we shot, you know, between, we had seven, eight of us. I mean, I don't think we shot more than maybe 250 shots total. And that was, yeah. even with Steve putting, you know, 100 rounds through his MP5 and yeah, shit. That's so. True. Yeah, you, I mean, well, yeah, maybe know, maybe say, three fifty. Because I shot, I shot about sixty out of my rifle. We shot about thirty or forty. Out I of shot. We probably shot about ninety total AR rounds yeah. out of mine too. Yeah. So yeah, maybe okay. Let's say five hundred between yeah. you know six people. So it's still That's, yeah. less than a hundred rounds a person, and we were out there all damn day. Yeah. Um, it was, it was a, a lot of fun. Great time. Really, really tested the skill level, um, but. You had a little bit different, but also very similar setup with yours out there. Yep. With the Freedom. So this is Freedom Rifle serial number one. Uh, this was one of the first ones that that was that we ever built. Um, this is my personal setup, um, but the biggest reason why I've kept it the way it has is because this is 
I use this to show people, like, this is a $1,000 rifle, optic not included, but for a 1000 bucks, you can have a rifle that is more than capable of anything and everything that you're going to throw at it out to 500 yards, and we proved that yesterday. Yes, we did. I mean, when I threw the Federal 69-grain uh, match ammo in it, I went four out of five on the 500-yard target. It did. Um, and that was just a change from we were using that Wolf Steelcase 55s, and it was a lot harder to hit, but then I threw some better ammo in it and go four out of five with the exact same rifle. Um, I've also got the Arrowhead on here, but that mine's the one to eight, because whenever I got this... The one to ten wasn't out yet, so I got the one to eight on it, and I've got the independence mount, which is I think sixty, it's about sixty bucks. So you're talking this entire setup as it sits right now, you're talking fifteen hundred bucks for this this exact rifle as it sits. Um, suppressor ready with the dead air uh, flash hider, so you can throw a Sandman or any can that has the uh, chemo mount. And it's it is ready to be a suppressor host right out of the box. I just love the way. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like it's very much different than any other AR, but yours has just got this aesthetic to it, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty par Bell. I'm pretty partial to them. <laughs> and who could go wrong with a Liberty Bell receiver? Can you see those markings, ladies and gentlemen? And that was and that's the early on. So now we have the. Do you have one? Where's the Liberty and Tyranny? And then the new ones also have Tea Party on the full auto position. Yeah. Uh, that, oh, I do have that, a new one that, here. That gray rail one. This is my most recent Liberty Bell beard. Build, build. Build. Liberty Bell beard. <laughs> <laughs> Liberty Bell build. This is my 137 uh, suppressed. Uh, I need to get a SDR done and just put a stock on this one. But this one says. There you go, Tyranny, Liberty, and Tea Party. Trying to get the focus in, Tea Party, there we go. So yeah, pretty dang cool. Thirteen point seven. Uh, this one's been a lot of fun too. So. Everything I've had Liberty Bell has held up to the torture. I think I have... Yeah, that's a Liberty Bell bolt in there. Yeah. Look how dirty that thing is. That thing well, is. <laughs> and so mine, mine was out as a loner uh, for a few months. Got it back um, probably a couple months ago and hadn't shot it since. Uh, threw it in the safe and took it out yesterday for the first time. Um, and didn't have one single issue with it. So... I just had to reconfirm zero, and, and we were off to the races with it. So, That's awesome testimony to an awesome product because they truly are my go-to. You know, if shit hits the fan, this is what I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing my Liberty Bell rifle. Uh, never lets me down. Always impresses me. And yesterday just set it to a whole new level of impressiveness, like of what we are capable of doing with these. And now we are about to have some AR-10s yep. in our hands that are yep. Liberty Bell. Yep. Uh, I got the confirmation today. The markings have been lasered, so they're, they'll be off to anodizing today or tomorrow. So. And talk about sorry for our wallets because <laughs> yeah. now we got this long range bug, you yep. know. So we really want to test this AR-10 platform, you know, and see how far we can actually reach out and and get as close as we can to some of these just badass bolt guns uh but doing it in an ar platform or a mag fed platform so that'll be good because i've actually i sold one of the constitution rifles so we'll be getting that built as soon as the receivers come in and and there's several of us there's i know you're going to build one i'm going to build one uh charles is going to build one yep. dakota's already done the six millimeter yep. um and something very similar so i think so charles be on the lookout for charles's ar-10 here over the next few months because he's going to do it it's, it's going to be a 12 and a half inch 308 which is just <laughs> stupid uh but we're hooking him up with some super dope cerakote i'm not even going to say what theme it's going to be um, but it's probably going to be the coolest Cerakote job I've ever done. He so has given me a little bit of hint about it. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be really <laughs> awesome. It's, awesome. it's going to be, 
It's going to be out of this world. We'll say it that way. And Charles deserves it. You guys know <laughs> Charles, CEB Media. He helps us out. He's our camera guy. Uh, does great stuff. Gets better every single day with the camera. Um, yeah. Awesome guy. Awesome friend. And does awesome content that we continuously get to put out for you guys. So, um, I think that's pretty close, man. We're sitting at about 25 mm-hmm. minutes. Yep. So, now if we go into closing... Um, any specials you got going on? Is the sil- the Silencer Co. deal is not still going on? The Silencer Co. Was, uh, it was only for a couple of weeks in August, so that's not going on anymore. Um, but as always, I do. I mean, I'm, I make prices as low as I possibly can for people. That's just, that's what I do. I mean, if I get them on a discount, I pass that savings on to the customers. And uh, here, we've got new rails coming. Um, we'll have more rifles coming this year as well. Uh, we hit a little bit of a snag with some supply issues this year. Things kind of slowed down. Um, but as we get to the end of this year and into early 2022, uh, the rifles will be coming back in full force. Uh, and we're talking things will still be built to order, um, but you're talking about a seven-day lead time from the day you order it to the day it is getting shipped to you or you know picked up if you're local. Seven days is the, the guaranteed delivery time. So. That's awesome. Uh, we also got some red beard lowers that we're going to have a few extra. We've already put the first order in. Um, right now we have anywhere from about 25 to 30 spoken for out of about 40. Um, but that is a good potential for you to get a Liberty Bell disguised as a Opie and the Smokies Red Beard Society lower. Um, but another good opportunity to get an awesome product here um, coming up very yep. soon, probably in the next two months. So, yeah. Already got the the money in and finances in, and we're just waiting on them to do their part now at this point. So. Yeah, yeah. So we should be fairly fairly quick as far as that kind of stuff goes, and it's the same same lowers as what they put out normally. They're just branded Opie and the Smoky. So it's gonna be a good time for yeah, sure. That's gonna be a real good. Real and good those lower. are gonna be a hundred and ten dollars uh, for the lower, and then obviously if you want to add an upper, you can. And then we're doing that special with that that if you get the lower and a one coat Cerakote. One color Cerakote is, is only $150, so you're at $40, uh, so you're about 50% off there for a lower Cerakote, single color. So great deal, guys. Be on the lookout for that. Um, that's about it. We just kind of wanted to get together. We don't ever get to be in the same room, hardly. Um, so having this weekend, we spent a lot of time actually just talking and going out there and, and doing some fun. shooting and then just going out and eating some good food and hanging out with friends and enjoying our time together so we didn't go live a whole lot uh but we wanted to do this before he leaves tomorrow that way we actually had something uh solid wise that we could post up and give you guys just kind of this whole you know round table talk and everything so and first time jay's seen the new studio and everything yeah too, so. it's it, i love the new studio setup everything everything ran phenomenally this weekend it was it was a really good time so hopefully we can get back down here with some 6.5 creedmoor ar-10s and some 308 AR-10s and kind of see see what we can really do to push this AR platform to the next level. Absolutely. Well, uh, let me give one big shout out to Don Reagan um, for helping us out too. He did a lot of the groundwork for us uh, that we didn't have to because if we didn't have Don there, yesterday kind of would have sucked. Uh, we would have got through it, but it would have been horrible. Um, just the little things that he had brought to help Shoot us two out. Shoot twice? Stuff yep. we didn't have, nice. stuff we didn't Both have it? access to yep. because we just haven't like been it. doing stuff like this. Also, a big shout out to Scott Carroll over at Blackberry Farms. That's where we were shooting at, and they have a bunch of Airbnbs on property. So if you guys wanted to go shoot at this same place that you're seeing all these little clip from, you can go out there, set up your own time, and set it up yourself. So they're very much a gun-friendly type of people and would love to have you guys. So big shout out to them, big shout out to Don. Big shout out to Jay for always providing a good solid product that we can test at 500 yards and succeed. Um, you're one of the few things that I haven't been able to break yet. So uh, not yet. Not we yet. did. We did uh, one thing. It was that when, is we, when we got, when we, got when we got the rifle out of the case. Uh, I was going to take a look because the safety was acting kind of goofy yesterday. So I said, "Well, let's take a look at it." And I pulled the rifle out, and there is no trigger or hammer pins in the gun. Uh, so the first thought was, did this thing run all day yesterday with no trigger hammer pins? 
it didn't. They <laughs> fell out in the case on the way back, but the uh, the set screws on that velocity trigger that hold that in and kind of work their way loose. And, but that was that was hilarious to pick it up out of the box going. Wait a minute, what's going on? I really did think I was running it and hitting 500 yards without like trigger pins in it. I was like, holy shit, like talk about a good testimony to your product, bro. But no, it wasn't quite that good. But yeah, we definitely heat that son of a bitch up so much yeah. that uh, we kind of wallered the holes out a little bit. So that's all right. That's what it's for. That's right. Uh, we got it fixed back up today. She's ready to go again. She zeroed. The turrets have been reset just like you did on yours. And I think it's only a matter of time before we go back out and try to reach out to maybe a thousand yards with one yeah, of these. So, and not with a five five six, but <laughs> yeah, I think we're still going to try it. But well, we have it, it to, might we take have about to try. It might we, take about a hundred hits. One out of a hundred is still a hit. All <laughs> that's, right. that's right. <laughs> Just stand still for me, bro. Shots, <laughs> but Jay, I appreciate you coming down, man. Uh, yeah, always a good, a good time. time. Yeah, never enough time. No. Um, but. Yeah, so guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. Let everybody know um, Liberty Bell Firearms is a great, great, I don't even want to say budget friendly because that kind of like downplays it. A great rifle for you to have in your rice, in your arsenal for everyday self-defense, battle ready, precision. Now, yeah. at this point, we yeah. can say that you are a... a precision uh, rifle builder and it gets you anywhere you need to go so liberty yep. bell firearms yep libertybellfirearms.com uh, instagram facebook all that stuff facebook's squashing the reach a lot so instagram's a little bit better for that kind of stuff um, but if you need anything cerakote wise we're running about six weeks on lead times right now so sometimes a little bit less but uh it's kind of hit or miss with tomorrow whenever i get back it's probably going to be closer to four but i've got four or five things coming in this week already so. never slows down never and if you want something now that might be in stock go check out smoky mountain guns and ammo uh they do have a couple limited edition paint runs going from jay uh liberty bell rifles they were uh the voodoo innovation rifles from adam arms but they did a jurassic park set of 10 and then they also did the baby poop uh distressed <laughs> 10. So there is a few rifles over there still left. Uh, SMGA.com. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Share with your friends. Love every single one of you. Um, stay alert, stay alive, and let freedom ring. See y'all.